our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bala! Remember the name, Muhammad! And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Leon Rocky Edwards! Ready. Ready. All right, early round action here featuring the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. Biggest key to his success of late, undeniably, has been the wrestling and the pressure game. The ability to impose his will on the ground. He has an outstanding top game, very good ground and pound. And I think when his submission offense gets to that next level, Bilal Muhammad's going to start putting people away and maybe be fighting for the title before the end of the year. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to flare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, effective use of the jab by Muhammad. Big power shot there. All right, too easy right out of the shoot. The wrestler is able to land his first takedown attempt against the kickboxer and hate to overstate it, but that moment feels pretty significant early. It's a massive moment. He knew that he needed to get this fight to the floor early. He needed to discourage this guy and remind him that, hey, you've defended takedowns before, but you have not defended my takedowns. I am at a different level, and when I am wrestling you, you go down. He's postured up. He's landed big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's going to get stopped. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Oh. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Massive shot from the top. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Muhammad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Muhammad's back in full now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got a sure defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, man, has he come out with a point to prove tonight. Aggressive right out of the shoot and really has landed at a pretty high clip here in this first round. Technical, but also aggressive and accurate. A very good start for him here tonight. 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Now a kick to the body. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next round. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to Where's eat right? through that cut <laughs> right. on his cheek. I'm just yeah. saying, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big double leg level change. Nicely done. Now he's going full mount. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Nice positional control here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And there you go, again, half guard. Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. Muhammad ground and pound from half guard now. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. Too. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing though. This is a terrible position. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Short elbows, short elbows. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Bilal Muhammad. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Get getting him out here. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. That was a slick transition. Edwards is back in full mount. All right, let's go. Work those hips. Let's go. Uh, 
Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Let's go. Get him Another Get him ground and pound strike lands. Oh, that's getting deep. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Muhammad. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Muhammad going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. round coming up you got five minutes i want you to go out there and finish this fight all right a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round dc i know you don't have a telestrator but take us through the replay i mean i would love to have my telestrator right now that was a great display of high level mixed martial arts striking both combatants stood toe to toe and let it all hang out you ready to fight Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Big land there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Muhammad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over and over. Same story. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left. Oh, big left hand lands upstairs. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got two spots. Fist here by Bilal Muhammad. High level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Mm, that was nice. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Muhammad. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you know, I don't like the P very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, man, that was slick. It's working, Mr. Anderson. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, the fighter's going to have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stage. <laughs> Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he has to try to find that shot again. And he's tired too, John. You know, he's tired too. I know he goes hard, he doesn't show it. You know, it's like playing poker. But he's just as tired. Oh! 
Muhammad's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Nice. Nicely done. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still either be fighting. He's got to do something different to get any design of winning this fight. So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. Starting to get deep. Looks like he's going to get the finish. Oh, great submission defense. Let's work. I'll stand this up. You need to work. Muhammad's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. All right, in the full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard. Keep advancing the position. Great shot from the top position. Edwards gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, nice inside kick. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. All right, no surprise as the wrestler gets it done on all three scorecards against the kickboxer. Crowd was loving the kickboxer walking out. Now they're showing their appreciation for the wrestler after a most dominant performance tonight. Expectation versus reality. Yeah. The expectation was that the kickboxer was going to do something fun. But the reality was, it was this wrestler's night. And look at him now, taking it all in as he earned that unanimous decision.